Early in the season, it is useful to review your basic classic ski skills, and this video was created as a quick reminder of what to think about as you classic ski. For most skiers, the diagonal stride is the go-to ski technique, and one reminder here is to work toward a solid weight transfer from ski to ski, as I show here. Note how my rear ski lifts off due to the push down and back, and that now I balance on just one ski at a time. Many skiers shuffle along, as I demonstrate here, and this results in poor weight transfer from ski to ski. Often our early season balance is shaky, so try some no-pole skiing, as I show in this case, to develop your balance. You can also do the scooter drill, as I show here, to better develop one ski balance. I will also add a link below to other videos that show other drills for improving balance in classic skiing. When you add your poles, a key reminder is to start your polling with elbows bent at 90 degrees, and be sure to follow through past your hips with your polling. Resist the temptation of reaching forward with your arms and stopping the polling action at your hips, as I show here. Remember you want to get the most from your poles, so start your polling by using your abs and back muscles, followed by your shoulder, arm, and wrist muscles. Double polling is another classic ski technique that will help maintain your speed on slight downhills or on the flats in faster conditions. A key reminder here is to avoid reaching forward with your poles and avoid riding the heels of your boots as I show in this case. Instead, think about keeping your elbows at 90 degrees and keep your hands high in front of your face. Also, try starting your polling with your body leaning forward onto your poles as I demonstrate in this case. Starting your polling from this hips forward position will give you more power in your double polling technique. Most cross-country ski trails will have some uphills, so be sure to use a herringbone in these situations. A key thing to remember if you are sliding back is to edge your skis as I show in this case. A slight inside edge will prevent you from sliding backwards. What goes up must come down, so use a snowplow to slow your speed on the hills. A key reminder here for snow plows is to keep your arms forward and stay loose with flex at the ankles, knees, and hips, as I show here. Avoid keeping your arms by your sides and your weight on your heels. To make snow plow turns, move your weight to the outside ski and touching your outside knee, as I show here, is one way to remember this. I will add links below for more video tips on herringbone and snow plow turns. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also share it with skiers you think might benefit.